got a mango gelato. I've got my Frenchie t-shirt on as well. I will be selling these in the future, but for now, it's just the sweaters. Oh, Christmas tree. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Saturday and I'm heading into the city for a coffee this morning. I really need one. I had a bit of a sleep in and you know when sometimes you sleep in, you end up waking up more tired than you were before you went to bed? That's how I'm feeling today, so I'm in desperate need of a caffeine fix. I'm then going to go for a bit of a walk into the city, see what's around, soak up some of that festive spirit, and just enjoy the weekend. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well, and to click that subscribe button. I just got back from some Christmas shopping and wanted to show you guys what I bought. I went to Jo Malone and got some perfume. I love the way that they wrapped them up and they come in separate bags as well. I mean, the sales assistant even sprayed the actual tissue paper with perfume. So it's just so thoughtful and I love Jo Malone in general. We then have some Peter Alexander gifts over here. So the tree is looking more full and festive and you might also notice that we have a new decoration on the tree. We bought a few of these yesterday. They're these beautiful snowflakes with gold detailing in the center. I am obsessed. I think the tree is finished now, to be honest. It's looking so good. Second outfit of the day. I'm heading out to dinner now with my friends. We're catching up for a little pre-Christmas dinner in Brunswick. We're going to 400 Grady. So I've got on this gorgeous mint polka dot Zimmerman dress that I actually bought today. I love it. It's so, it's so cute. It's honestly like very much a 50s style of dress. It's quite long and A-line. I love it so much. I've got my Chanel handbag and Stuart Weitzman sandals on as well. So this is my look for the night. The leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree. just at Zero Grady now and oh my gosh the flavors look amazing look at all of the different chocolate varieties we have Rocher, Bacho, Oreo, Tim Tam. Beck got a mango gelato it looks so cute I love the little cup as well I know such a cute touch so good to be out again. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these gelato flavors, guys. Mango, pear and ginger, lemon. So good. I am back home now. It's actually eight o'clock. It's quite early, but we had an early dinner seating, which is actually good in a way because I feel like now I have time to just rest and recharge, which I really need. It's been such a big day, I think, because I slept in this morning. I just, you know, lost a few hours this morning to do what I would usually do. And it's just been one of those, you know, rushed Saturdays, but it's good to have a bit of a time out now and to watch some Netflix. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my makeup off, put on a face mask, you know, watch some Netflix in my Christmas PJs and make a vegan hot chocolate. That is like the best. That's self care to me. Time to just, you know, unwind in bed and relax. I need that. So yeah, that's kind of my day. Dinner was so good, by the way. It was so good to catch up with my friends. I honestly don't know the last time we were together as a group. You know, I know I saw Olympia and Beck back in, I believe it was June or July, pre-lockdown, but since lockdown, we haven't been together as a group, all four of us, for a long time. So it was so good to see everyone and just to kind of, you know, catch up before Christmas. The food was incredible. I highly recommend Grady. They're really known for their pizza, especially the pizza crust or pizza base. And in fact, they've won competitions for that. The owner of Grady is 
world renowned for the pizza. So if you are in Melbourne, definitely give that a try. It was just so nice though to catch up with everyone. I feel like that's what this time of the year is for. Scheduling in those catch ups before Christmas and just making sure you touch base with everyone, especially for us Melburnians. You know, we haven't seen our friends and our family since lockdown for a lot of a lot of us that's the case so it's good to just you know be seeing people again and just connecting honestly if i learned anything in lockdown it's the value of human connection my friends my family i appreciate them now on a whole new level so you know lockdown in a way did give me that gave me that lesson which i feel like i needed at this age so it's been really good connecting with everyone again after lockdown and just going out. Honestly, it's so good to get dressed up for a night out again. I've missed this so much. I love, you know, buying new outfits or wearing new outfits and just feeling so good in them. And this dress that I bought from Zimmerman, I'm just obsessed with. I love the color so much. So it was a good buy for sure. Before I go and have a shower, I need to turn the lights on on this Christmas tree. How cute is that? I love it. It's so festive. And let's also put the lamp on as well because the sun is setting, it's getting darker, and I love just having my apartment dimly lit. You can see the Christmas tree in the background. How cute is that? Anyway, it's time for me to unwind, but I will see you guys tomorrow for some more fun. Hello everyone, today is Sunday. I'm here with mum and we're heading into the city for a bit of a walk for a much needed coffee as well. And I had another sleep in this morning, which was much needed. It's also really warm today. It's going to be, is it 30? 30 degrees and windy. So I'm braving the heat. I've got my Frenchie t-shirt on as well. I will be selling these in the future, but for now, it's just the sweaters. And yeah, I thought I'd just bring you guys along for a little walk into the city. We have some Christmas presents to buy. So we've got another busy Sunday ahead of us. But also when it's cold and dreary, oh Christmas tree. Mum just got a chocolate sample from Hague's. What is the verdict? <laughs> so good. We're in the Block Arcade and there's a bit of a line, but it's so good. I mean, you can't beat Hague's chocolate. So nice. <laughs> It's so good to see this arcade up and running again because the last time we were here it was locked down, I think, and nothing was open. Wow, this place looks quite popular, doesn't it? That smells so nice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this is an iconic cake store up here. I'm sure you guys know of it. The Hope Town Tea Rooms. Look at this window display. What one would you pick? I mean, look at that chocolate Swiss roll. That looks amazing. What's it called? Raspberry mousse. Wow. Black forest. Apple strudel. That looks delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I've actually never been here. Have you been here? No. We have to add it to the list. Yeah. Let's just give you guys a peek inside. How stunning is it inside as well? Look at that wallpaper. Gorgeous. This is on the list. We will come back for a vlog for sure. Anyway, we've done some Christmas shopping now, bought some gifts, and it's time to head back home and go to the South Melbourne market.
Yes. Let's smoothie go get time. a smoothie. <laughs> it's 20 past 12 and we're heading to the South Melbourne market for a smoothie. Now for the rest of the day I'm going to be writing my Christmas cards and I'm also going to my friend's place for dinner tonight so I need to get some ingredients to bring some food along with me and I also just need to get organized for the week ahead. I like to really write a to-do list on a Sunday and just make sure I'm feeling organized and know what's happening in the next week especially in December like it's that busy time of year so we need to make sure we're all organized yeah, yeah. and it's a very nice day today too what's the temperature does it say um, 25 degrees 25 is that all I know it feels a lot warm it feels it? so warm guys I need to actually turn the aircon on oh, that's better it is going to be 30 today yeah it's going to be really warm so we've had a good walk in the city. I feel like we did so many steps today. Mm -hmm. I'm already like crashing, so a smoothie is going to do us good. And I also wanted to ask you guys, what do you want to see more of on my YouTube channel? Or what are you enjoying the most? And what do you want me to include more of? Because obviously you guys are my viewers and it's really important to me that I film things that you guys want to see. So let me know if there are any things that you're like, Chels, we really want to see more of you cooking or we really want to see your makeup routine or things like that. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to hear from you guys. And because I'm having so much fun filming these videos and vlogging, especially over Vlogmas, I feel like I've really gotten into the rhythm of filming more personalized things and just being more raw and just filming on the go. So I hope you've been enjoying that element of my videos lately because I definitely have been enjoying filming them. So we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let me know if you want to see more of mum as well. <laughs> I mean, mum's just my chauffeur, basically, these days in the vlogs. I don't mind. <laughs> I know, I love being driven around. I think it's the next one. Oh, the next one? Yeah. What would you do without your navigator? I know. I couldn't do much. I know. I'm just like a control freak. I love telling people, okay, take this particular route or this road. And South Melbourne and just like this kind of area is notorious for people just not driving great <laughs> or just like people just walking in the middle of the road when you need to be driving it's um fun area to drive in especially on a sunday oh why are you going left i'm gonna try to turn <laughs> here so i can get a car park <laughs> what <laughs> i'm not allowed to do that <laughs> i know that's another thing getting a car park yeah in south melbourne on it's a sunday hard. wish us luck this is mum she parks all the way down like this is so far from the market you chose the worst car spot but it's okay i forgive you the least stress i know it is pretty stressful finding a park anyway okay guys it is smoothie time i'll see you soon i'm just in the middle of writing some christmas cards i've done four so far we have a lot to go but i'll see how much i can get through because i really want to have some of them done for tomorrow that way i can post them tomorrow's a monday and hopefully they will reach everyone in time for christmas that's my phone ringing i'm getting distracted <laughs> A little bit later on now it's around 10 p.m. and I'm actually getting ready to go to bed the last clip you would have seen would have been me writing my Christmas cards and I did get a lot done I was actually writing them while watching the film holiday on Netflix which is so good by the way I still have a little bit left of the film so I'm going to watch it in bed and let me know if you have any other good Christmas movie suggestions leave a comment down below and I'm going to sign off here so thank you guys for watching give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it click that subscribe button help me reach 1000 subscribers it's free and it really supports my channel and I'll see you guys very soon bye